Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Askins, Code Primate. Wow. Why is that? Hold on. Mute that. Mute that. Test. Test. Okay. I think I got it right. Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video where I have not played Roblox in a long time, but I felt like today I needed to come in and talk and... Safer. Yeah, I'm sure. Confirmed. Um, basically, I've been away for a lot, little while, and I don't know. Hold on one second. I'm I'm really not enjoying these headphones. Hold on. Testing one two. Oh, that's so much better. Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video where I just said that entire thing and I don't need to say it again, Code. So if this is your first time watching one of my videos, um, why did I not load over to my slot? Huh. It's just not loading? I did load my base, I thought. Anyhow. For those of you that don't know, I played Lumber for a really long time, and I played Roblox for a really long time. Um, all of my content has always been family-friendly, and I've always tried to keep with the family-friendly content and everything else. And, I don't know, it's just really hard to, like, keep up that same motivation and keep going. Um... But I, I do want to give you a warning. If this is the first time that you've watched one of my videos, um, my videos are family friendly. Alex Killer, why don't you want visitors? Um, but they talk about subjects that are profound. I mean, I, they're profound thoughts and profound subjects to talk about, like death. Yeah, that doesn't sound very family friendly code. The thing is, um, Tonight, Hope's bird, Buttercup, passed away. Um, we don't know why. We do know that it had to be some kind of injury. Um, our birds are allowed to fly free, and, and we keep the cage open so they can fly around the house. They're not caged birds. They have free reign. I even have a little stick, so like, if they're down on the ground, they can climb up into their cage. Like It's very very free for them. They, they are free birds. Free bird! <laughs> but point being was death and the subject of death. And it's something that I'm going to talk about in depth right now. Um, we have been scared in the past of my wife dying because she had cancer and she went through um, chemotherapy. She did the, the Red Devil chemotherapy, and then she did a regular chem, uh, chemotherapy, and then she did a double mastectomy, and then she did radiation on top of it. So we've, we've been through the gambit of, like, possible things that could go wrong in life, and a lot of people don't experience that. <clears throat> so, one of the main things I always told my kids whenever we bought pets, all right, then this may sound morbid to you, some of you, but at the same time, I don't sugarcoat it. I tell my kids whenever we first got pets, and here's the other thing, don't blame me for the birds, okay? Grandpa bought the original birds, all right? Grandpa, Dad, if you're watching right now, thank you for the birds, but oh my goodness. Birds, budgies in particular, they are a 12 to 15 year commitment. And my kids are at that age, right? So I don't want to purchase another bird. <clears throat> but at the same time, budgies are very social creatures. So I'm really worried about the second budgie getting depressed because it just lost its friend, right? Here's the thing, you can see the difference in between the comprehension of death um, because my daughter she understands the bird's dead the bird's gone the bird's life is no longer here it will no longer participate um, <clears throat> animals on the other hand they don't comprehend that it's it's not hmm, hmm. it's not that they don't understand 
Because there's here's the thing. Crows, and my daughter will tell you this, crows will hold funerals for their fallen friends. And they will um, gather and mourn for whenever one of theirs dies. Does that mean that they have a comprehension of what has happened? No. I don't think so. Now, I... I only say that, and here's the thing, a lot of people are like, well, dolphins are super smart. Yeah, but I also don't see dolphins studying humans and making enclosures to keep humans in. So until there is another animal that does that, I will never put animals into the same category as a human, even though we are genetically the same. I don't, yeah, I, I won't do that. I won't put the same category. Um. And these are very profound thoughts. Profound thoughts for if you're if you are a kid watching my show right now, like, <laughs> hey, it's not Roblox, it's life. Um, but here's the thing: I also see video games as a very good learning tool and a teaching mechanism for what life actually is, what life reality is. And if you don't play, then there's no point. So yes, we have death, and we have life, and we have birth, and we have all kinds of amazing, wonderful things that happen because we're human. We're, we're alive. So when you encounter death, it's a gentle reminder. We all eventually will die. And that is that is a hard concept to like push to people, but nobody's immortal. You will eventually die. I will eventually die. And I need to deal with that, I guess. I mean, here's the thing. You weren't worried about it before you were born, so you're not going to really worry about it after you die. <laughs> and that's just... Put, take everything religious out of this concept that I'm talking about because I don't want to offend anybody be like oh no there's no afterlife or oh no there's there's no this that or the other whatever your religion is that that you have a belief in I do not want to offend it or push you to any other religions blah 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 but I will say death is a human thing and death will occur so um eventually will we have immortality maybe we are expanding human lives. I think it's, what, 20 more years? 20 more years than we used to. I mean, and here's the thing. If it weren't for death, I don't think there'd be a motivation to move forward with life. Death is a very good motivator for getting stuff done. <laughs> if you had the time to live forever and had all the time in the universe to do what you wanted. I mean, you would you get bored? I don't I don't know. I don't know if you'd get bored. But <clears throat> one of the things I did want to mention is when just by making this video, um this is my current base that I've been working on and everything else and I really want to start a new base from scratch but I really don't want to delete anything that I've got. And I don't want to make an alt. I could go play Samper Live, I guess. <gasps> hmm, hold on a second, pause. Nah, I won't do that. I don't I don't want to have to log out, log back in, change things and everything. Um. Oh yeah, we were working with this with, for something. Hold on. Why is that? Oh, oh, okay, hold up. So I'm walking forward. My forward motion is causing a backward spin on the ball, which is catching traction with the wires and lifting me up. Four, 
and a five. Does it sound better when I get close to the mic like this? A little bit more ASMR. Actually, I like that a lot. Hold on. I wonder if I just, just get really close to the mic. Hello. All right, let's try just one ball. Walk on top. Oh, it's not, not doing it, is it? Hmm. Maybe it doesn't work with just one. Maybe I need two. We're experimenting. That's what I do. Oh, <gasps> Bruce Deluxe. By the way, Bruce. Bruce Wood. Is it still around? I don't know. I think it was only seasonal. Hold on. Why, why did that... Click, 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 please. All right, just come here. All right. Oh, did not work. All right, hold on. Press E, click move. Oh. All right, try this again. There we go. Boom, that's how to do it. All right, let's try one more time. Was there somebody? I thought I heard a car go by. Move. Okay, hit E. There we go. <coughs> now it's captured. Let's see if I can do it with just two. <laughs> I don't know how it's doing it, but it's it's doing it. So what I'm doing is I'm standing on top of it and pressing forward, but I'm, I'm yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> I am so glad that I picked up a whole bunch of these steel axes, even though it, I think it's seasonal. Should we just pick up? That's what I'll do. I'll do a base cleaning while I talk. Cleaning the base. Um, those are alpha axes. It's a hatchet. All right, let's let's do right here. Seems like a good spot for him. <sighs> I feel really bad for Hope just because this is the second bird that's died on her, and the first one, it was a weird bird disease where they just start to lose their balance. It's it's kind of like a bird stroke. Anyhow, that was sad. Of course, I think he was, he was a little bit older. He was getting gray. I didn't, didn't know this. Birds can get gray feathers. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Man, this is, this is going to take forever. All right, come on. Let's just pick all these up. Also, is the music too loud? I, I almost feel like the... The music might be too loud. Here, I'll turn it down just a little bit. You can tell me in the comments down below. <clears throat> Do you have pets? Um, comment. Put a comment down below. Let me know, know what kind of pet you have. Have you ever experienced pet death? A pet that has died or passed on? Um, sounds a little bit morbid to ask you for that. but um, It really is. It's, it's a concept of... A pet will outlive you, for the most part, unless you have like a parakeet, or not a parakeet, um, one of the parrots, 
I think those things live for seven years, the macaws. Or a tortoise. If you have a tortoise, those things live forever too. <clears throat> Bunny Films had uh, had a turtle, right? And I think he's still got some turtles. I, I need to check in with Bunny. I haven't talked to Bunny in a long time. I seem to have made a lot of friends in Roblox along the ways. And I also seem to have made a lot of powerful friends. Um, New Fizzy? Dude, congratulations. I saw, I saw the, uh, the McDonald's toys for Adopt Me. And I'm like, that feels like a intellectual property rights of some kind being stolen. It wasn't. He's got an actual, like, contract with him. So if you go to a McDonald's and you purchase an Adopt Me toy, that's New Fissy's idea. Like, that's amazing. I'm just, I'm super excited that I was there whenever Treelands was around and getting started. Good old Cineac Midget. I haven't seen Midget in a while. Sean. Anybody, uh, does anybody realize that, um, oh no, I guess people know. Cineac's named backwards, right? I don't remember. Actually, I don't know if that's a known fact or not. Um, does anybody out there subscribe to Cineac's, um sister, who does the, the dot art with the pins? She does some amazing work. There was one a few years ago. Um, look, I think it was a one of the Plague Doctor mask, but I can't remember. I've watched so much YouTube; it all just kind of blends together nowadays. Should I build a second floor? I think so. I think I'm gonna have to. Now that I'm actually in here talking and doing stuff, I'm like, oh man, I, there is so much stuff I I kind of want to do. Here's the thing. I've done everything in lumber. I know that a lot of you are like, oh, go do lumber, lumber king, blah, blah, blah. I'm, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. I've done everything in lumber. Lumber's fun. I like lumber. I mean, the concept is fun, but it's just kind of turned into like pretend now. Uh, hello? Hi. Hi. Pausing. That's hard. She was in bed, and she wanted one last hug before going to bed. To my daughter. And, uh, yeah. Still pretty torn up about the burden. Which is understandable. I, it's your pet. It's, it's... Hard. Death is a hard concept. Not something that should be... Hushed or silenced, your feelings about death are valid. And no one gets to tell you how to mourn or how to react. And here's the other thing. If you have a friend or somebody who's going through death experience, like they've lost a loved one or a pet, whatever the case may be, there's nothing right to say, okay? Like, I mean, yes, you can say that you're sorry for them and everything else, but there's no... There's no good way to approach the subject. Be like, oh, it'll be okay. And, well, you don't know that it'll be okay. But that's also the thing that makes life interesting. And it will pass. The, the hurt and the pain of loss will pass. But what was that? Hold up, what happened? How did I do a double jump like that? Oh, yeah, I am jumping off of something here, aren't I? Can you get in? Are you, are you stuck? Oh, 
Hold on, buddy. Flat hands, Benjamin. You can visit my property. There you go. Um, and you can sit in seats. Uh, interact with objects, grab objects, save items to base. No. Can I look at your house? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yes. Uh, come on in. Mm. <laughs> He's like, yes, load base one. So I'll do that. Unless he's just going to uh, wipe it. Are you gonna wipe it? Don't don't wipe my base, please. So, I'll load it up. <sighs> uh oh. What happened there? Huh. I guess that wasn't my piece of wood. We're gonna have to load over on, on slot number one over there. Yay! Mm. Mm. Yeah, there it is. Select. Confirmed. <laughs> there it comes. It's a huge base. Where's your base? I don't know. Where is it, buddy? Oh, where, oh, where could my base number one be? Just so you guys know, there are other things going on in life. Um, I'm not going to mention anything, but like my Discord and the, the fans know everything. I really have been backing off. I've been backing way off from recording, from being on the internet, from pretty much anything to do with YouTube or... Twitch, Discord. Mm. It's been, it's been a lot. And I want you to know I'm okay. I'm still here. I will still continue to record videos and do content and make things, but don't expect me to go like does this ah, does it not do something just says ah okay hold on I haven't heard a bold and brash in a while let's go let's go get a bold and brash going oh that was bad completely missed it's really dark oh, come on code you noob jump. Whew, barely made it. Oh yeah, we were trying trying to figure out the exact width of the never mind. <clears throat> bold and brown. Bold and bold and brown. Bold and bold and bold and brown. <laughs> so fun. Oh my gosh. I've just got axes laying all over the place. Uh, wait, does my bridge still work? I mean, he didn't change the sizes or anything, so the bridges should still work. Didn't we have a problem where the trucks weren't driving on them correctly? Like it'd get stuck if you stop. Move B, E, move B. And if you don't know about the door bridges, got plenty of videos on how to make your own door bridges. Yes, they still work. Yes, it's 2024. Yes, they still attach. So many people are like, oh, the door bridges are patched. I'm like, no, they're not. Stop lying. Stop lying. No, yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, it's a little rough. Where's your base? It's over here. Come get it. Come check it out. <clears throat> mm. 
That first time walking this whole distance just to go get some goldwood. I used to think goldwood was like the most expensive wood in the game. Like you can get so much money just by walking a single plank. Oh, there it goes. I'm like why why isn't it hitting? Is that loud? It's not that's like super loud, isn't it? Code pri cream? You're now privately chatting to microboss. Hello. Hello, privately. Pri privately. Privately chatting to me, micro boss three. How are you? Hello, privately chatting to me, micro boss three. Oops, I put thirty four. Salam. And wait, am I supposed to say en shalom? Or is it shalom? <clears throat> I don't remember how to say it. It's either shalom or shalom. One of them means, um, God so be it, I should see you today. And the other one is, God willing, I shall see you tomorrow. And that's an old, old saying. And I learned that from my history teacher back in high school. It was a different language. I don't even remember which one it was. It may have been Egyptian. I don't know. We learned a lot about Egypt. Egypt. Just trying to sell axes right now. Oh, nice. I don't need any axes. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks you. <laughs> Code primate thanks you. <sighs> Got so many axes. Should I start a code priming axe shop? Oh, Defaultio. I have an idea. Give me an axe shop. Make my avatar an axe seller. And the only thing he sells are non obtainables. Non obtainable axes. So, like the end times axe, it's still obtainable. I wouldn't sell that. But, like. Old school, and here, oh, that'd be even better. Don't make it the originals, like the Alpha Axe. Make it like an Alpha Axe recreate by Code Primate or something like that, and that's what I sell inside the stores. Like my own my own little Code Primate Axe store. That'd be fun. I think we should put it to a vote. <laughs> I, I don't know. I already have promises of a boat shop, but again, we gotta wait on that one. <clears throat> Special terms and conditions apply. <laughs> and for those of you that know the terms and conditions, <laughs> yeah, I don't need my boat shop that bad. <laughs> it has been so long since I've gone and just gotten goldwood. Oh, by the way, um,. Huge shout out to Mad Mom. Thank you for letting me know that uh, Hoover had gone in and changed the Oaklands VR settings. I did not realize that they had updated it. So, I will go check it out. I don't know if it's going to be this week, but... Uh, like I said, I got a lot of stuff going on. Oh, I can talk about work today. So, um... Do you guys know what Authy is? Twi Twilo Authy? The uh, Authenticator application. Like... On your phone? On my phone? How about gifts or eyes? Nope. I'm a YouTuber. I had a ton dropped off to me. But thanks. Appreciate you. And hey, maybe like I'll keep your name for later um does anybody out there need some gifts or eyeballs uh micro boss three contact him on the thing i don't i don't know don't scam anybody otherwise you're going to be like really unpopular if you're if you're looking for axes and stuff 
he's your man. Or woman, I don't assume. Okay, this is this is ridiculous. Seriously. This is why I said we need straps on the on the cars. Defaultio. <clears throat> By the way, yes, I do know that my hair is amazing. And yes, I do know that it's getting really long. And yes, people are still reacting to it. Like I am not used to having this much hair. It's it's really quite shocking for me. But I really like it and I don't want to cut it. Hopefully I can uh, I can get it back into like a man bun eventually. Oh, code in a man bun. No. Does it make me look like a developer? Do I have developer hair? I think my spiky hair is a little bit more developer than this is. Oh no, 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 no! Oh! I dropped it! No! I dropped it all the way down there. Hold on, where'd it go? Uh, where did it go? All right, hold up. Oh, is it is it on my base? Hold on. Ah, right there. <clears throat> oh. I did start breaking this down, didn't I? And there's there's gold wood right there. Ah. Uh, that's okay. Just traveling to go get some some wood. Still fun. Playing the game. Have we done the quad saw in a while? Let's let's go let's go check this thing in the quad saw. I don't even know if this physics works the same way anymore. This was good good physics back in the day. Come in here and drop down my chop my chop saw, my quad saw. Alright, hold on. Let's get this turned around. This is the wrong direction. There we go. Zabam. Nope, that's not going to cut correctly. Zaboom. Maybe not. Okay, what's going on here? Grab that. <clears throat> Come up here. Stay right there. Let's go ahead and turn this on. It's probably gonna be loud. I give you fair warning. I gotta get away from it because it's so loud. And I think it's just laggy. The physics used to not be so laggy because I didn't have that big of a base whenever I first made the quad saw. And I didn't think that lag was going to affect it that bad. Oh my gosh. Lamb says, can I buy Code Prime? No. But I give for free since it was a gift from fans. What's up? Or what do you need? Hey, hi. Can I look around? Sure. Oh, are you stuck off the base? Hold on. Okay, that, that thing's just not working correctly. So hold on. Let's Kill that. Uh, where you at? Hold on, where are you? Um, are you over here? I don't know where you're at. Man. Little bitty axe shop from back in the day. Did I actually? Yeah, I went through and sorted it too, didn't I? Put all the axes back and got all the non-axes out of there and... I don't know. Let me in! I don't know where you at! Is that you? This you? What's up, buddy? Alright. Menu. Silence. Lambs. Lambs. Can visit property can destroy objects no 
can sit in seats and that's it close You are Mr. Bagaby? Hold on. Lambs. Unle Unlimited gifts? Is that what it says? There you go, buddy. Come on in. That's cool stuff to have. And it, I, it really is true. I used to have an axe shop and I stopped because I started getting a whole bunch of fan gifts. And I didn't feel it was right that I was putting gifts up here to sell that were given to me by fans. Like, people ask me, Code, what's your favorite axe? It's the fire axe. This right here is my favorite axe. Why? Because during that Christmas gift, it was the first one that had a specialty that could chop faster. I have a ton of this wood. Long pieces just like this. Here, let's go shut the doors. I'm just going to lock up. Lock up the shop. And then we head outside. I actually pl like playing this in VR much better. Hi, buddy. Didn't I have... Where's my light switch? Hold up. Um... Oh, during the daytime, the lights are off. During the nighttime, the lights come on. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just going to turn it on full throttle. What's going on here? Why, why are you not... Go! It's like lagging out. <clears throat> Bad. 5,118 of the original blue ball. Ninety-seven thousand. Just just to have a four-digit blue original. Oh my gosh. I can't remember. Was it the red one or the blue one that came out first? I think it was the blue one. I might be wrong. My little measurements whenever we were trying to figure out. What's these do? Um, I was measuring. It was so we could replicate. In fact, this is a part of the mag. Um, part of the let's make a lumber game or my lumber. And it was basically just me kind of explaining how little little things here and there programmed into the game. But then somebody released a copy of the the game winter 2017. And from there it was just all downhill, so yeah. That code has been out there for years. Even Defaulty was like, dude, it's just public knowledge now. No, it ain't. It's your IP. It is your intellectual property right? You need to have a McDonald's contract. <laughs> Free axe in every Happy Meal. <laughs> there we go. That's what we could do. Make little replicas of the uh, of all the axes. <gasps> Who can make figurines? Not the 3D prints or whatnot. Actually, if you can 3D print them, that'd be awesome too. Um, 3D print all the models of the actual axes. Just like little ones, like that big. That'd be really cool. All right, I guess 40 minutes of me talking and just being here is more than enough to call a video or call content, I guess. I don't know, is, is, would you consider this content? Me talking to myself? Um. By the way, for those of you who do record as well, uh, how hard is it to sit here for 30 minutes and just talk to yourself into a camera? It's a good thing I have ADHD. And if you have ADHD, then you should be able to do this too, but it's getting distracted that is the problem most of the times. So, yeah. Boom. 
Yeah, that's where... Hold up. Can I just stand here and would I travel the whole time? Oh, I might AFK my character for the whole night. That'd be fun. Just make sure people don't come in and mess up my base. Left friend? Oh, is that your friend? Hold on. Who? Menu? Settings? Who? All right. You're allowed to visit property. Visit. Visit property. Visits from anyone. There we go. We can just do that. And you're allowed to visit too. So I think I have an infinite loop right here. Drops me down, brings me up, drops me down, brings me up. This used to be... I allowed everyone. Can you not get in? Yeah, you can get in, bud. See? Boop. Here, jump up there. Yeah, there you go. Okay, let's get out of here. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, where I didn't really do anything, but you know, you were here, you watched, you had fun. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of videos like a good YouTuber does. It's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. I say this every single time, but I just cannot emphasize it, em emphasize it enough. I love you guys. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. Outro.